Hi, I'm Mike Bader with SawdustNewbie.com, and today we're going to talk about inside roundovers and making them look good. The issue with inside roundovers is they got this rounded edge here when I think they should be at kind of more of a 45 degree angle, but with the way a router bit works, you can never get that with the way it's because it's a spinning bit. So we're going to have to use some hand tools to get this finished up. So an optional step, I don't usually do this, but for the sake of the video, I am going to show this. Um, I don't usually put an extra pencil on in here because usually by the time I'm doing roundovers, I've done uh, most of my rough sanding. But we're going to just strike a line here, a small line here, just to establish our 45 degree. And I just did that from quarter to quarter to establish that 45 degree. What that's going to enable me to do is when I come in here with my rasp, I can see where that should be coming through at a 45 so that it gives you a nice clean inside corner here. I usually eyeball it, but for the sake of the video I'm going to um, have the line here. One thing to keep in mind is our grain direction is going this way and this way. But as we're going to get started here, we're going to take the rasp and we're going to go against the grain. So after we're done with the rasp, we're going to take some light cuts, but then we're going to come back with sandpaper to clean this up. And how we're going to establish this is we've already got our roundover established from the router bit, and we're just going to follow that line using the rasp. Just taking light cuts, and I'm just curving that inwards. Now this rasp is stitched all the way to the edge, so that's going to really allow me to get into that 45 degree corner quite nicely. And I'm just going to keep working at both sides of the inside corner here. And I'm just going to keep just visualizing where my roundover is. And like I said, I'm just going to use the rasp to follow that on. Notice I'm taking care to push the rasp in one direction. Because in the push cut, that's how the rasp cuts. By pulling back, you're not really doing anything and actually you're probably um, even dulling the rasp stitching so we're always just pushing forward and i'm not using a lot of force here doesn't really take a whole lot Now the rasp is going to leave more of a rough finish than the sandpaper will, or the router bit did even. So we are going to come back here. I'm going to start with grabbing some 150 grit. I'm going to go with the grain now to sand out the rasp marks. Come back, come over here with some 220. And I usually just go ahead with the 220 and sand down all the round over to make it a good smooth cut from the ladder left over. So you can see with just a few minutes of work, we were able to get a much cleaner looking uh, round over here in the inside corner here. And more time spent, I can make these even look even better. But for the purpose of the video, I think you guys get the idea. Thank you for watching.